Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel, Captain OC. Officer Kimmy Will. All right, today is 15 minutes with the captains. All right, today's topic is a very popular topic, something that a lot of people are concerned about, a lot of people worry about. Today's topic is, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. Because, you know, a lot of people want to know. You know, a lot of people, we love the hood. So, you know, when we get to heaven, we want to still be in our Section 8 housing. You know, we still want to have our dirty streets. We still want to have our basketball hoops, you know. So we're going to get into it. So let's get into it. Let's answer that question first before we get into the actual topic. We're going to discuss what heaven is. But I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. The answer is no. Go to John chapter 14 and verse 2. I'm going to show you right now. Ain't going to be no ghettos in the kingdom of heaven. When the Most High is reigning and ruling, nobody will be subjugated to housing discrimination. <laughs> Read that. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh-huh. In my father's house. In what? In my father's house uh -huh. are many mansions. Now, nah, many apartment complexes. Many mansions. Many duplexes. Many mansions. Many mansions. Read. If it were not so, uh -huh. I would not have told you. Read. I go to prepare a place for and you. And I go to prepare a place for you. Revelations, chapter 21, and verse 1. And we're going to read down. So, are there mansions in the ghetto? No. Nah, there ain't no mansions in the ghetto. So guess what? It ain't going to be no ghetto in heaven. Read that. 21 and 1? Yep. We're going to read down to 4. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Uh -huh. And I saw a new heaven mm -hmm. and a new earth. Read. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Read. And there was no more sea. Uh -huh. And I, John, saw the holy city. The what? The holy city. Read. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. Read. Coming down from God out of heaven. Uh-huh. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now let's read what this thing looks like. Read. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Uh-huh. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. Read. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Read verse 4. Verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears. Now, in the ghetto, the ghetto is full of tears. Full of tears. Full of heartache. Full of sorrow. Ain't gonna be none of that. Read. From their eyes, and there shall be no more death. No more death. We know the ghetto is full of death. There ain't going to be no more of that. Read. Neither sorrow, uh -huh. nor crying. Read. Neither shall there be any more pain, uh -huh. for the former things are passed away. For the what? For the former things are passed away. The former things. The Section 8 housing is passed away. Jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. And he carried me away. In the spirit to a great and high mountain uh -huh. and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven. Because from God. that's what it looks like. It looks like it's descending out of heaven. But what are we reading about? We're reading about an actual city that we're going to dwell in. Mm -hmm. Jump to verse 18 just to show you ain't going to be no ghettos in the kingdom of heaven. Read that. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And the building of the wall of it was Jasper. With what? Jasper. I bet you if I had to ask you what it looked like, you couldn't tell me. Because mm. why? You ain't no gas, ain't no Jasper in the hood. No Jasper in the hood. <laughs> Read. And the city was pure gold. What, what? And the city was pure, pure gold. Pure gold. It ain't going to be a, a, a swap mark where mm. you can get that fake stuff. The city is going to be made out of pure gold. The 
here we remain as a beacon of hope. It was Asgard. Read like unto clear glass. And it's gonna be that that real gold. It ain't even that yellowish color, goldish color. It's like clear glass. That's what the heaven is going to look like. Mm. So to answer your question, ain't gonna be no ghettos in heaven. All right. So you two Pocanarians out there, <laughs> all right, it ain't happening. So let's get into the actual topic. We want to discuss heaven a little bit because, like I said, it's a big question. You know, even in Christianity or whatever faith. Some everybody always believes in some form of afterlife, so on and so forth. So let's get into it. What we're going to show you is that there are different forms of heaven when you read the scriptures. There's actually four. If you read, uh, watch Bishop's class, he did a wonderful class on the four heavens and the three hells. We're going to deal with those four stages of heaven first. Let's get into it. The first stage of heaven is the sky. Go to Genesis chapter 7 and verse 23. And like I said, they have different terms. There are different heavens. All right. Genesis chapter 7, verse 23. Let's get into it. The book of Genesis, chapter 7, verse 23. Uh-huh. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground. So this is after the flood. Read. Both man and cattle and the creeping things. Uh-huh. And the fowl of the heaven. And the what? And the fowl of the heaven. The fowl of the heaven is talking about the birds. So he's referring to the sky as being the heaven. Go to Revelations. Chapter 19 and verse 17. So one form of heaven is the sky. All right. Is the sky. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh-huh. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. Uh-huh. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven. That all the fowls that what? Fly in the midst of heaven. What fowls fly in the midst of heaven? When you were up there real high in the sky, do you see any birds? No. So what's that showing you? The sky is considered a form of heaven. All right? Because there ain't no birds up and out of space. Mm -mm. It ain't none. So there's that's one form of heaven. All right? So let's get to the next one. The next one is outer space. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. The second form of heaven is outer space. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. The book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. And God said... Let there be lights in the firmament uh -huh. of the heaven. In the what? Of the heaven. In the firmaments of the heavens, there's going to be lights. Read. To divide the day from the night. Uh -huh. And let them be for signs mm -hmm. and for seasons and for days and for years. So outer space where you can't even see where the sun and moon are, that is considered heaven as well. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 13. Let's back that up because somebody might say, well, that's the same thing. What a, be, how do you know that's different from the first heaven? Have you ever seen a bird, a fowl of the earth out of space? Mm. You've never seen it. Mm -mm. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 13. Uh -huh. For thou said in thine heart, mm -hmm. I will ascend into heaven. So this is talking about the so-called white man, Esau. He, he will do what? And thou said, for thou hast said in thine heart, uh -huh. I will ascend into heaven. I will what? I will ascend into heaven. He said, I will ascend into heaven. Read. I will exalt my throne uh -huh. above the stars of God. Above what? The stars of God. Showing you what? That he's going to be what? In outer space. In outer space is another form of what? Heaven. Read it again. For thou hast said in thine heart, uh -huh. I will ascend into heaven. Read. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. You see that? He will exalt his throne above the stars of God. When did he do that? In 1969, when he placed the, the, the American flag on the moon and he said, the eagle has landed. The Bible outlines that. You didn't know that, did you? You got to read your Bible. Let's get the next form of heaven. The next form of heaven is where the most high himself dwells. All right, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. So we got the first two heavens. You got the sky with the birds and all the fowl of the heaven, of the earth. Then you got outer space. Then there's another heaven where the most high dwells, where nobody can reach. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. Uh-huh. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Read. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. Read. God knows. Uh -huh. Such an one, such an one caught up uh -huh. to the third heaven. To the what? The third heaven. You see that? Paul understood that there were different heavens as well. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I was at, this is the third heaven. 
And you know who taught Paul? Christ. Mm -hmm. So he had some understanding of what was going on. Read that again. What was he caught up to? God knoweth. Uh -huh. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. Caught up to the third heaven. So I want you to get that into your brain. So give me that. Read that last part again on uh, 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. God knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. Caught up to the third heaven. Now go to Tobit chapter 5 and verse 16. Who is in that third heaven? Because we didn't read about um, the Most High being um, in the heaven with the fowl of the air. We didn't read about him being in outer space because we know that can't be the case. Because Esau is in outer space. He planted his uh, uh, star, I mean, uh, his his flag on the moon. So where's the Most High? Read that. The book of Tobit, chapter 5, verse 16. Uh -huh. So they were well pleased. Then said Tobias, then said he to Tobias, uh -huh. prepare thyself for the journey. Read. And God sends you a good journey. Uh -huh. And when his son had prepared all things for the journey, his father said, go thou with this man. And God, which dwelleth in heaven. Which what? Which dwelleth in heaven. And God, which dwelleth in heaven. Now, how do we know God dwells in heaven? Let's go to Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 5. We're going to show you something that's very important for us to realize dealing with heaven and what it looks like. Read that. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 16. I mean, verse 5. Hebrews 8 and 5. The book of Hebrews chapter 8 verse 5. Uh-huh. Who serve unto the example and shadow of th heavenly things. And what? And shadow of heavenly the things. The shadow of heavenly things. We're going to show you how much of a shadow Moses served the heavenly things. Read. As Moses was admonished of God uh -huh. when he was about to make the tabernacle. When he was about to make the tabernacle. Read. For see, saith he, uh -huh. that thou make all things uh -huh. according to the pattern. So he of said, when you making this tabernacle. Mm-hmm. I want you to make it according to the pattern. Read. That thou make all things according to the pattern. Uh -huh. Show to thee in the mount. He said, I want you to make it the same way I got it set up at my crib. Mm -hmm. He said, the way I'm rolling, that's how I want y'all to be down here on earth. Mm -hmm. Showing you what? The Most High is a God. He has a body. He has a house. He got a temple and a tabernacle. And he showed it to Moses to mimic on earth. Mm. That's why it says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's right. On earth as it is in heaven. Understand that. From there, let's go to the last form of heaven, which is rulership. Go to Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 1. This is the heaven that we're trying to get to. This is the heaven that every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man should be trying to attain. We're trying to bring heaven on earth. Just like our forefathers had it. Read that. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with uh, a cloud uh -huh. in his anger? In his anger, he covered the daughter of Zion in a cloud. Read. And cast down from heaven. And what? And cast down from heaven. What are we reading? We're reading the book of Lamentations. What is Jeremiah lamenting? The children of Israel were taken by the Babylonians. They were taken out of their land, out of the kingdom of heaven, which was set on earth where? In Jerusalem. You can read about that in 1 Chronicles 28 and 5. It's showing you when you are in a position of rulership in your land, when you govern yourself, you have laws, statutes, and commandments. You write the tax code. You make sure everything's built according to a certain fashion. You determine where the food goes, where the water goes. You are in heaven. Read that again. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud Read. in his anger? Uh -huh. And cast down from and heaven. cast down from heaven. Unto the earth. Uh -huh. The beauty of Israel. He cast us down from heaven unto earth because he took us into Babylon. He made us in a servitude status. We were no longer kings. There was no more King Hezekiah. There was no more King uh uh, 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 Zedekiah. <laughs> there was no more King Uzziah. There was no more King Solomon, King mm -hmm. David. No, mm -hmm. it was your name is Toby. Right. Your name is Meshach. Your name is Abednego. Or whatever else they wanted to call us. What was Daniel, uh, 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 name? Bel Bel Belshazzar. Belshazzar. Your name mm -hmm. is now Belshazzar. That's how we were cast down from heaven. Uh, it says, and remember not his footstool in David's anger. From there. Go to uh, Isaiah, back to Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 12. So what are we showing you? We're showing you the four forms of heaven. One is the sky where the birds are. 
There's another one is out of space. The third one is the third heaven where the most high dwells. Mm -hmm. And the last one is rulership. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. How art thou fallen from heaven? Uh -huh. what, 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 what? Read that again. How art thou fallen from heaven? Now remember, we were already in this chapter earlier. And it said what? It said that I will exalt my throne above the stars. Mm -hmm. Who was it talking about? The so-called white man Esau. Showing you this is a man. And read it again. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, uh -huh. son of the morning? Read. How art thou cut down to the ground, which did didst weaken the which nations? Which didst weaken the nations. What is this showing you? This showing you that this is a man that he is speaking about. This man, through what? His policies mm -hmm. has weakened the nation. Also is showing you that this man, Esau, has fallen from his position as being the supreme mm. ruler on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's also showing you that he is the supreme ruler on the earth as it is right now. Because remember, it says Jacob grabbed hold of his heel. We're going to translate from one kingdom to the next. We will be the next ruling kingdom. From there, go to Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 21. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 21. So what are we showing you now? Heaven is rulership. Heaven is rulership. But guess what? Christianity only taught you about that third heaven where the most high dwells. Mm -hmm. That's the only heaven they want you to think about. And, and their description of that heaven is not correct. All creeds and colors and races mm. and religions won't be in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. We might end with that one. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 21. Uh -huh. That your days may be multiplied uh -huh. and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to so give them. The land that was given unto our fathers, mm -hmm. when it's prosperous and you're having children and you're generating, it shall be as what? As the days of heaven. As what? The days of heaven. So when you are ruling your land with a rod of iron and you are generating, you're having children. They shall be, read that again, as the what? As the days of heaven uh -huh. upon the earth. Where at? Upon the earth. So guess what? Don't believe that pie in the sky. Mm -hmm. Remember when it says it was adorned as a city coming out of the sky? He's just saying this is, looks heavenly. It looks like that third heaven coming down. Because mm -hmm. guess what? It pretty much is. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the same thing on earth. Let's read it. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. So if you wondered if heaven got a ghetto, guess what? Tupac, if you're still alive, you were wrong, my brother. All right. I'm showing it to you according to the scriptures. Read that. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Uh-huh. Thy kingdom come. Uh-huh. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Read. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Luke 17 and 20. Last scripture just to show you. So we pray that you have the proper understanding of heaven now and you understand you don't have to worry about food stamps, Section 8, mm. um, whatever other government assistance they give us in the ghettos across America. And guess what? You're an Israelite. Luke 17 and verse 20. Read that. The book of Luke chapter 17 and verse 20. Uh-huh. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, uh -huh. when the kingdom of God should come. When the kingdom of God. Understand, when it says the kingdom of God, it's talking about heaven. Mm -hmm. It's talking about a rulership. Read. He answered them and said, uh -huh. the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Heaven does not come with observation. Read. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. Read. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The what? The kingdom of God is within the you. The kingdom of God is within you. So we pray that you hear this message and you go out and you keep the commandments. And you go out and you exhort your other brothers and sisters to believe in Christ and keep the commandments as well. And guess what? The kingdom of God will come on the earth. For who? For the nation of Israel. With that, we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.